I pay homage to you, the great compassionate mother of all awakened ones, the mother of all sentient beings who roam aimlessly in the great ocean of samsara. I am Isis, the mistress of every land, and I was taught by Hermes, and with Hermes I devised letter, both sacred and the demothic, that all might not be written with the same letters. I gave and ordained laws for all men and women, which no one is able to change. I am the eldest daughter of Kronos. I am the wife and sister of King Osiris. I am she who findeth fruit for men and women I am the mother of King Horus. I am she that riseth in the dog star. I am she that is called goddess by women. For me was the city of Bombastus built. I divided the earth from the heavens. I showed the paths of the stars. I ordered the course of the sun and the moon. I devised business in the sea. I made strong the right. I brought together man and woman. I appointed women to bring their infants to birth in the tenth lunar month. I ordained that parents should be loved by children. I laid punishment upon those disposed without natural affection towards their parents. I made with my brother Osiris an end to the eating of human flesh. I revealed mysteries unto men. I thought men and women to honor the images of the gods. I consecrated the precincts of the gods. I broke down the governments of tyrants. I made an end to murders. I compelled women to be loved by men. I made the right to be stronger than gold and silver. I ordained that the true should be thought good. I devised marriage contracts. I assigned the Greeks and to barbarians their languages. I made the beautiful and the shameful to be distinguished by nature. I ordained that nothing should be more feared than an oat. 
I have delivered the plotter of evil against other men into the hands of the one he plotted against. I established penalties for those who practice injustice. I decree mercy to supplants. I protect and honor righteous guards. With me, the right prevails. For I am the queen of rivers and winds and sea. No one is held in honor without my knowing it. For I am the queen of war. I am the queen of the thunderbolt. I stir up the sea and calm it once again. I am in the rays of the sun. Whatever I please, this too shall come to an end. With me, everything is reasonable. I set free those in bonds. I am the queen of seamanship. I make the navigable unnavigable when it pleases me. I create walls for cities. I am called the law giver. I brought up islands out of the depths into the light. I am lord of rainstorms. I overcome fate. Fate listens to me. Hail, O Egypt, that nourished me. I am she that is the natural mother of all life mistress of all the elements, the first child of time, supreme deity, chief among powers divine, the queen of heaven. I am the principle of the celestial gods the light of goddesses and the uniform manifestation of all gods and goddesses. I am who governs by my nod the crests of light in the sky. At my will are the planets of the air, the wholesome wafts upon the seas and the lamentable silences below disposed. My name, my divinity, is venerated throughout all the world in diverse manners, in variable rites, and in many names. Thus, the Athenians call me Minerva, the Cyprians in their isle home call me Venus, the Cretan archers call me Diana, the three-tongued Sicilians call me Proserpinia. The Illusions call me the ancient goddess Sirius. Some call me Juno, by others Bellona, still others Hecate, while some call me Ramnusia. But those who are enlightened 
by the earliest rays of that divine sun, principally the Ethiopians which dwell in the Orient and the Egyptians which are excellent in all kind of ancient lore and by proper ceremonies are they accustomed to worship me. Do call me Queen Isis. I am present. I am with pity. I have come to favour you during misery. Shed your tears, indeed. Let go your sorrows and put away your mourning. And in a moment, by my foresight, I will enclose your days with wholesome health and beneficial wealth. Therefore, from this day on, direct your troubled thoughts to my commands alone and abide in me. This day and whichever days shall be born from this night hence, forever when you call upon my name with reverence to calm the tempests of winter and smooth stormy seas of choppy waves opening them to navigation indeed to the passages across rough open seas my priest shall henceforth dedicate songs and poor libations for you my beloved children. O Divine Mother Isis, Most Holy and Everlasting Blessed Lady, Redeemer and Perpetual Comfort of Humankind, Who by your bounty and grace nourish all the world, cherish our lives, and bestow the consoling smiles of a mother with great affection upon our trials and tribulations. O Mother Isis, as a loving mother you take no rest, there is no day or night, not so much as a moment, that is not filled by your mercy succoring all men and women. On land as well as at sea, you are she who chases away all storms and dangers from our lives by your right hand.
Likewise, you restrain the fatal dispositions, appease the great tempests of fortune, and keep back the course of the stars. O Mother Isis, the gods supernal do honor you. The gods of the earth hold you in reverence. You rotate the globe. You give light to the sun. You govern the world in time and in space. You thread down the powers of Hades. By you, the seasons return, the planets rejoice, the elements serve. At your command, the winds do blow, the clouds do gather, the seeds prosper, and the fruits prevail. The birds of the air, the beasts of the hill, the serpents of the den, and the fish of the sea do tremble at your majesty. O oh, Mother Isis, my spirit is not able to give you sufficient praise, nor have I the means to offer you acceptable sacrifice. My voice has no power to utter what I think of you. O oh mother, not if I had a thousand mouths and so many tongues, not in an eternal flow of unwearied declaration could I affirm it. How be it, poor as I am, I shall do as a good religious person, and according to my means, I shall always keep a remembrance of you and your countenance deep within my heart. And there, in the secret depths of my soul, shall I keep divinity forever guarded.